Well, good dang Saturday afternoon to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. And Lord have mercy, I'm going to tell you right now, it's hotter than a house of ill repute on nickel night. It's warm out here, y'all. But anyways, we're going to talk about something different today. A subscriber asked me some questions about my, my hen house or my coop. So I'm finna show him. I'm finna show y'all. Just give me a second. All right, y'all, let's rock on into it. Calling Dawn Homestead had asked some questions about my coop. Uh, Carl wanted to know some specifics about how I built my coop. So, uh, yeah, let me show you. Let me show y'all. Check it out. Here's the front of it. Here's the sides. And here is the back of it. Now, what I will tell you is everything... This whole coop is basically was built with all reclaimed, recycled wood. Uh, this wood right here, these pieces of wood are actually uh, reclaimed wood that I got. They're not true two by fours, they're like, uh, you know, two by threes or something like that. But each one was actually screwed into place uh, to build this back wall. This back wall is approximately 16 foot this way and we are about 30 feet that way and the height is height is i want to say eight foot i basically put this door together with some some scrap wood that i had and i'm using i have some chicken wire that's all the way around the sides of it and all i did was just staple that into place just to hold it there over time it starts to lose its uh tautness but that's cool it keeps uh, everything out. And the bottoms, again, are all reclaimed wood. And I wanna say I made the bottoms, I think two feet tall from the ground to here. I wanna say it's two feet. And what I did for a little bit of extra protection was I actually uh, put the chicken wire down and stapled it to this board right here. And I actually sandwiched the chicken wire with another piece of two by and this is a show enough uh do-it-yourself homemade chicken coop see there's my, my latch had a piece of two by because it wasn't matching up so i just screwed it on and put it just regular latch on there let's go on the inside hey girls hey henry i don't know why you so skittish only thing that i pretty much have invested in this uh chicken coop money wise are these poles right here four inch poles eight foot, uh, four inch in diameter that is. Three, six, nine, 12 of them. So that's pretty much the only thing that I have invested in the coop uh, money wise is these round poles that I set as the, uh, or just the framing for it. I set the poles and I attached everything to the poles. The, uh, the chicken ladder, the roosting ladder is scrap wood that I had that I made. I uh, had those nesting boxes uh, for a while, as you can see, they're kind of dirty. But anyway, those guys were actually mounted on that back wall, but I found that they liked to get on top of it and they were sliding off and just doing all kind of crazy crap, pooping on it, stuff like that. So I moved it down there and they seem to be liking it. And they all get up on that, that roosting ladder pretty good. Uh, that is a 35 gallon trash can that I actually put some three inch, uh, nineties in and their feed is on the inside of that. And they just basically stick their head in there to eat. It helps with the waste of the food because they actually have to stick their head in that hole and eat. You know how chickens are. They like to get in there and scratch stuff out if they can. And that eliminates that. That worked out pretty good. Uh, I had a few people, Carl and a few other people, ask me about the uh, five gallon buckets that I use to water my chickens. So let me show you. Those are just basically tractor supply. You can get used Walmart, you can use any five gallon bucket. But I will tell you is I do use food grade uh, containers. Um, see right there, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, if you are gonna go this route, I would just go ahead and if you have the means 
just go ahead and buy a food grade five gallon bucket. They're about $1.75, two bucks more than just a regular container. It's good for me to know that I could actually put food or water or whatever I want to do to feed my animals in that uh, five gallon bucket and not have any problems. What I have done is this right here is a three quarter inch bulkhead fitting and I have some three quarter coming out to a T and then of course some just stretches of three quarter with some caps. And on the other side I have the watering nipples. A shot of this, well let me use this one because this one's easy to open up. Let's see if you can see it. Three quarter inch bulkhead fitting with a, I don't know, four or five inch piece of three quarter on the inside. Thus far, I will tell you that this watering system has worked out really good for me. There's a few box stores that actually sell these five gallon containers that have the watering nipples mounted to the bottom of the uh, five gallon bucket. Uh, it's an it's a okay design, I guess, but the only problem with that is you're gonna have to hang it. Chicken coop is not, uh, if you didn't make it just too sturdy, but you got to remember that each gallon of water is you know, seven pounds or something like that. So 35, 40 pounds of water, plus the weight of the stuff that you have mounted to it to make the water. Yeah, that, that could be kind of heavy. Oh, there you go, right there. You gonna get your drink on? It's probably the most expensive thing, and I had everything else. I had the watering nipples and the three quarter inch PVC. I think the most expensive thing was a bulkhead fitting. I want to say that bulkhead fitting was, I think, nine to ten dollars at Lowe's or something like that. The big picture is I can have 10 gallons of water in my chicken coop at all times for these girls to, to drink because chickens drink a lot of water. And on top of that, uh, the waste factor as far as the water has dropped dramatically because when you hit those, these little watering nipples, see it's only a drop or so at a time that's coming out. So not really wasting any water, extremely efficient. Say that I fill these water containers up maybe once a week, uh, sometimes twice, depending on if it's hot or not. I actually went ahead and used uh, some goat panel on top of this. Uh, it's a good collector of branches, you know, with all these trees and stuff. <laughs> I need to get up there and get those down. I actually used zip ties and overlapped, overlapped these panels and just zip tied them together. The tin, I actually had the tin uh, on hand. I just have, a, you know, I, I'm a collector of things, <laughs> just like everybody else. I had a whole bunch of tin. I want to say that this coop uh, took me probably about a month to build. I did it pretty much by myself. Uh, get off of work, come over here, work on a little bit. If I'd have had a whole bunch of time to invest in it, it probably would have took me a week, maybe week and a half. All right, so there you go. Carl and uh, Dawn Homestead. Here's my chicken coop, brother. I'm gonna show you how I put it together. You had some questions about uh, the coop and the watering system. So, y'all, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Like some thumbs up, helps me. And uh, if anybody else uh, has any questions about how I put this thing together, hey, drop it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do for you as far as another video. I'll try to answer some questions. In the subscribe account on my, I think it's on my main page, on one of the pages, there's a bell. If you click on that bell, <clears throat> y'all will get notifications whenever I uh, upload a new YouTube video. So y'all can stay uh, abreast of what I am doing over here at my home in the sticks. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. I sure do like having new folks come to the channel just so I can share what I'm doing uh, with you and y'all. When that being said, hey, y'all, don't let nobody do you shine now. I mean nobody. You just, you go on and get, get all the shine you can get. Get your shine on. And uh, I am about to, in a couple of hours, I'm finna watch some Crimson Tide football roll Tide. And we'll see you and y'all in the next video.